I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 4. Let's focus on verse 23. Jesus was going all over Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every kind of disease and sickness among the people. Now, before moving to California, my family and I lived in suburban Chicago. It is the number two least churched city in America. At least it was at that time. And a person's success in Chicago seems to be dependent upon their willingness to get up early and to work late. In a word, it's driven. And soon after school began, it became apparent that our family needed to have a Bible study before school. And we started in Matthew chapter 1. And every day I'd try to teach something from the next day's chapter. Does that sound familiar? That's what we do at Groundworks Ministries, day by day, chapter by chapter. And you know, when we got to Matthew chapter 4, uh, I asked uh, the kids, you know, what was the good news? You know, he went, Jesus went around preaching the good news. What was the good news of the kingdom that Jesus was teaching and preaching at that time? And my daughter Ruth, who was so young at that time, she says, oh, Jesus died for us. Well, no, you know, Jesus preached this message three years before he died, honey. So what was the good news that Jesus was preaching? Well, we'll cut to the chase. The good news that Jesus was preaching about the kingdom is straightforward. God, who makes promises, can be trusted to fulfill his promises. Hey, here's the good news. Jesus is like, I'm here. 400 years had passed since Israel's last prophet. 14 generations had passed since their exile to Babylon. Had God forsaken his promises and his covenant with Israel, he'd made promises to us. And where is he? 400 years. He had not forgotten them in the least. The Messiah was standing before Israel and accompanied by signs and wonders. Jesus came to the Jew first, the Bible says, and then to the Gentile because the promises were given to the Jews first in the Bible, which they believed. The Jews who believed God's promises of the Messiah were looking and praying for the Deliverer. And Jesus is like, here's the good news. Here I am. Jesus came at the time that God had appointed. And he didn't just heal a few sick people. The Bible says he healed every kind of sickness, including the root of all sickness, which is sin. Are you searching for deliverance? Do you feel lonely and forsaken by God? Well, I have good news for you. Here's your gospel. God can be trusted. Consider the Apostle Paul's words to the church in Rome, in Romans uh, chapter 10, verse 13. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That's a promise. Furthermore, God has promised to never leave or to forsake his children. Because God has been faithful to fulfill his promises in the past, We know that he can be trusted concerning his yet-to-be-fulfilled promises for the future. Won't you place your trust in him today? I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people just like you. And yes, we do need your support. And you know, supporting is... Uh, it's simple and it's easy at our website. So check us out at groundworksministries.com.